Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Now, I call this my Respawn Mirage Edition Bamboozler Chair. Uh, be, only because it it's from Respawn, not the same company that makes Apex Legends, but it is a company called Respawn that makes chairs. It is an RSP-S110. And it's my new... Uh, desk chair and I really really liked it it's been very comfortable compared to the other chair that I've I had before and I have some cats and they kind of have torn it up and you'll see that uh, in the video but for now I want to unbox this little this big bad boy um, I'm tall so I wanted a chair that uh, would better accommodate my height now there's is one downside in a way it does have a footrest but the way the footrest extends it's not for me but it didn't stop me from getting this chair it it's just an additional feature it's just something i can't use but it came with the chair it was already attached i'm not gonna detach it it's fine heck even if i had to put it on i still would have put it on but uh, just a little unboxing here i tried to get the best angle i could uh, but this is a big box, but I mean I have a big desk, but that's that's as best as I could get just to give you guys an idea You know what you get with it how it's arranged in the box and then we are going to get into some assembly um, Like I said, it is a great chair especially for its price um, There is one issue with it and I will get into that uh, later on in the video uh, especially where I go to assemble the part where I'm I'm meaning that there is a problem now initially in the box uh, you have the chair bottom chair top lots of different parts that are just wrapped in bubble wrap the uh, arms uh, the pillows which are very very super comfortable um, and then the main parts are in boxes and that's what you see on the bottom right and uh, towards the middle there uh, that was that's an arm um, but like I say it is very very uh, comfortable chair and it is a very good value for the price I picked it up at a uh, local big box store um, they had it in stock I saw it it was a good price I'm like I'm getting it and uh, so I thought put this video together to show you guys how easy it's very easy actually to put this chair together that was the uh, what did you just saw me take out was the bottom of the, the chair just some loose cardboard there and here's one box and that box if I remember correctly has the legs in it the feet and there's the other box and I do forget what's in that one though. but that completes the unboxing of the Bane box now we get into the little boxes now, this box here has um, the adjustments for the height and you can lock the seat in the angle that you want the chair to be which is very very nice very very useful a lot of chairs in this price range don't have this feature and it was really really nice to have that's the uh, container that has the different nuts bolts and screws in it and I'm gonna say it now because I may forget to say it later but one of the inside one of those compartments in with the nuts and bolts and, and that is a compartment that says spare so if you do lose a, a bolt or something like that there is one of everything in that spare compartment now that is the piston that you get to sit on you know that the the, uh, the seat goes on it is very very uh, easy to put together and then these are strictly decorative they're uh, cylinders that go over the piston and just 
um, just go up and down with the piston just to hide the piston I say they're they're decorative and one goes into the other and the way you know which one goes into where is there's a little lip on each of the cylinders and that's what locks one into the other and that's how you know how they go together like that and as you raise or lower the chair like I said being that I'm tall it's always fully upright and there's the piston there now we are going to get to putting on the feet now the way this leg system works is all the individual legs are just folded up in the box and you just have to pull them down the best way to attach them is the way you see here you put your thumb to align it and then you use your other thumb to put pressure to get it to snap into place and you just have to do that five times and that is your feet with the wheels that make it very easy to glide it around move it around position it the way you want now of course in the middle where the hole is is where the piston goes and there's a piston and all you do is simply and I'm reading the instructions like a dummy but you just simply set it in and just give it a little push that's it now the cylinder goes on top and like I can say it's, it's not functional it's just decorative but you just have to push it over the piston and that will lock it into place and you need to put that on if you're going to use it before you put the top of the seat on which will be the next step now as you can tell the bottom is complete and now here's the chair now what i was talking about earlier what you see that big pad on the bottom of the chair that is the footrest and as i said for me i have very long legs that's really not useful for me but hey it's a feature it is cool it's nice it's convenient uh but it's just not for me and so like i said for the price that i got this thing at this chair on it is worth it now from the first box that you saw me pull out that's the adjustments there now you have to make sure that you have that box piece at the edge of the seat. Just line up the holes and then there's four screws that go into the bottom of the chair and there I pointed out there. You also want those washers so you have to cut out those bolts and those washers because those are the two parts you're going to need. <clears throat> And it makes it, and like I say, putting together this chair um, actually took me about uh, 45 minutes. And that's only because I want, really wanted to take my time and put it together right. But it really is very easy to put together. I edited, of course, some of the parts out just for brevity because some of the steps are repetitive. Like uh, putting the wheels on, stuff like that. Like I say, for this part here, uh, you just need the bolts and the washers. And it does come with the two Allen wrenches that I'm showing you there that you need to put this chair together with. So what is nice, most chairs do, they come complete with everything. So we'll put the bolt on there, put the knot on top, or put the uh, washer on top, oops. And then I usually try I don't always do it, but I always try to start a screw uh, by hand just so I know that I'm not cross threading it. And that always makes it uh, better to put in and makes it better for in the long run as well. And you just put all four of the bolts in the bottom of the chair that attaches the height and angle adjustments for the chair. Now just to show you, you don't need to use a lot of force, what you just want to do is turn it until it is tight in there. You don't need to go torquing it, uh, otherwise you risk, you could potentially uh, strip out the built-in nut that's in the chair. 
And as you can see, I've got all four done there. And then the footrest just slides in and out. Now, I'm just showing you how I generally try and start them by hand. And then tighten her up. And like I said, don't over tighten it. I can't emphasize that enough because you could potentially break your chair because it's just a wooden piece. It's not, you know, hardwood underneath that that holds the nut in place. Now just take the, the legs with the feet, put it on the floor. And if you see that hole right in the middle there, that is where you want to put the piston is to line it up so that the piston goes into the hole in the center of the adjustment piece that we just got finished putting on. Now the chair, as you can see, it's very nice, very well constructed. All you do is put it on, make sure you get it right, and just give it a little push. You can sit on it to get it into place, but it just needed a little push. And as you can see, if you're facing it by the back, the adjustments are on the left. Now, this is where the top piece goes in. All you have to do is there's a metal piece that's on the back of the chair. It slides into that bracket. But the first thing, of course, that you need to do, everything is covered in plastic, so you just have to unwrap it. Uh, you can see that metal piece there, just at the top left of the frame. Just pull the bag off. And just gently throw it, or whatever. And then it just simply, that metal piece slides into that groove into the back. And then you can see the adjustments there on the right. I think I said the left earlier, it's on the right, but you see them there. Now, this part, it's not difficult, but you, what you have to do is there's three screws that you have to line up that go in the metal piece. Also, what's different is you have to put the lock nut. And the way it goes is the screw, the lock nut, and then the washer. And you need to use all three. So, and as I said, the best thing to do is to start this, especially by hand, because you have to get this lined up properly. Because if you don't get it lined up properly, you will end up stripping out and it won't be good. It will never work very tightly. And just to show you, the lock nut is the part that has a cut in it. Almost looks like a washer, but it has a cut in it. That's called a locking washer. And then don't forget the washer. And again, there's, there's three, and yeah, highly recommend you use all three. I say putting it in, just lining up, adjust the chair. What I had to do was pull it forward and that made it easy for me to be able to get them all lined up. Again, start on my hand. I can't emphasize that enough. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but you really need to start these by hand. And that way you get it put in, put together, and it's very easy. But as I said, the harder part is just getting it to line up. And it's probably because I'm trying to do it for your benefit uh, to show you how I'm doing it. So I had to play around a little bit with it. But start it by hand, then tighten, tighten, tighten it up with the wrench. Then there's two little flaps there that you see at the bottom of the chair. I'll get into those in a little bit, 
but know that they are there. Because when I do show this to you later, you really can't, you see me positioning them, but you really can't tell exactly what they are. But there's two, those two little flaps at the bottom of the back of the chair. Just remember to take note of them. Now we move on to the arms. What's nice about these arms is as you change the position of the chair, it changes the position of the arms. Now to attach these, there's only two screws and the, makes it real easy for you to tell which is left and which, which is right simply by the way you're seeing it there. The easiest way to tell is you see that uh, chrome ring. The chrome ring needs to go outward and that way you know that one's right and the other one is left. For this you need two screws and it just goes into the hole like that so you can tell that's not left it's right one at the bottom one at the top i just put them through that way it makes it easy to line it up with the nut that's built into the chair again start it with your fingers then tighten, tightening it up with the uh, provided allen wrench and again, don't put a ton of force behind it because you don't want to strip things out. You also don't want to break the wood on the inside. And what I would recommend, as I stated in the beginning of this video, this is the point, is as you adjust the chair, uh, reclining or declining, those, I've noticed that those uh, screws will start to back themselves out and it makes the arms loose over time. Now it gets to be quite a bit of a pain to have to take the little covers off and keep retightening them. So what I've done is I got four washers that were the same as the washers provided. And what I did was I went washer then the bolt through the washer on the outside of the arm. So when you put the arm in place, you would put a washer and then the bolt. And that seems to have fixed my problem when I adjust the chair, that it will loosen up the bolts that hold the arms in place. Now this pillow is your lumbar support pillow what you want to do is put this with the, the the red design facing downward just like that just like I'm pointing to there the straps go through holes in the top of the chair that you really can't tell and then you fish them around the bottom and then you clip them together now remember that piece I was telling you about that is velcro that's what I'm attaching you want to put that strap through and then you want to attach the velcro on the bottom of the chair just clip the strap together there's one side and you just do the same thing on the other take the strap put it through the chair just like you see me doing there put it past the velcro part attach the velcro just like you show you see me doing there and then take the top strap put it through the hole in the top of the chair yeah i have long arms too and just snap them together there you go now you have your lumbar pillow now in this bubble wrap is your head pillow and you can put this in one of two places again since I'm taller I put it over the top of the headrest or you can put it through the same holes that you put the straps for the lumbar as you can see here all you do whoop, is put it on top pull the straps around and click them in place that's it 
again that's the position I've had it in because I am taller but you can also put it through those holes there as you can see that's where the straps went through for the lumbar support pillow and it is really nice to have that pillow where it's at so you just put them through and again just click them together and that is the Resupon Mirage chair <laughs> oh but don't forget the covers there's four of them for the screws for the arms one on uh, the top there one for the bottom on both sides and as I said putting this chair together was really very easy and uh, is it is super comfortable I really enjoy the chair having the optional foot breast like I say it doesn't work for me but it is very nice to have and all you do is slide it out flip the bottom pillow up and boom you're done and it already comes already assembled on the bottom of the uh, seat of the chair and as you see I'm just putting the uh, the caps are on the ends of the bolts so that you don't see the bolts in the armrest and as I said what's super nice too is as you adjust the angle of the the, the top it adjusts the armrest as well don't forget to put your tools away and as I said right there in that section that is just spare so to have that that's fine it's you don't need them unless you lose a nut or a bolt now time to test it out adjust up the lumbar support to where it's comfortable and just lean back and it is nice now the lever that's closest to you is the lever that locks it in place and that way if you're at that angle it'll stay at that angle and thanks for watching. See you in the next one.